most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. My mistake. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am your host Honeyotic and today we are back with part 3 of the Call of Karen and we're exactly where we left off. Um, I want to say we did two days the last episode. Um, I'm not sure what days those were. <laughs> But we're going to continue today and we're back at breakfast time. Each day something different happens. So of course we're back to breakfast. And of course stuff is floating already. Grab that. Get the pan. Let me get a plate. I'm getting the most mess. go ahead and get this so I can there we go get this other piece of bacon put in the pan this other egg you guys are like why is she not talking <laughs> I'm just trying to get past this breakfast oh no what on the floor Alright, pick that up. I'm going to get a fork first before the season ends, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh! Oh, I got it. Okay, now we just need the salt and the pepper. Oh! Pepper, even though I'm sprinkling it in the drawer, it still counts. Don't question my methods. All right, and Q. Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I can drive you. Timmy's mom says that woman shouldn't drive. Bye, honey. Strange. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. Okay, a mysterious package has arrived. I mean, has appeared. My bad. <laughs> Is that a note? Tint. A right click while holding to use an item. Keep an eye on the vacuum. Oh boy. From Susan? What did she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who has eldritch demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow. Isn't that just so thoughtful of her? You want to put this <clears throat> on the table. I gotta keep an eye on the vacuum, so I'm trying to trying to keep it close. Right click while holding an item. What just happened? What? Okay, we're going to sit this down on the table. That book did something. Oh, okay, when well I was vacuuming. Can I, can I get closer? Oh, did get it, okay. Oh, 
Oh, so I couldn't have done that with a regular vacuum. Okay. And I should have one more spot around over here. Okay. That's actually useful? Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? Alright, so says throw a pencil at the paper and see what ideas flow. Make sure to float it nice and neat so Susan doesn't have something to say. Alright, so we're going to leave that there. Okay. We need to throw it at the paper. Can we move this? Like that's in the way. We're just gonna drop that on the floor. It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcoat just for you. She's so rude. Okay. Now, do we put it... Hey, okay. Figuring out how this works. I guess it's din, din time. And now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your community. Come on, Charles. I don't need you calling me out, too. Okay. <laughs> this is where on earth did that pesky meatloaf go? Maybe some of the holy water from the closet will set it straight. Catch it and trap it on the counter first. What? All right. I don't even like that sound. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the table first, just to kind of get that out of the way. If it'll let me, maybe I have to do the meatloaf first. Okay, so we have to catch it. All right, I'm gonna deal with you in a minute. So now that we have the table done, what is this supply closet? Why is this in here? <laughs> okay, so is this the holy water? Okay, well that worked. Me spraying the carpet. I thought it was going to be a little bit more to it. Alright, now we can take the meatloaf to the stove. Strap you there. That's weird that they have all that stuff in their closet like that. Alright, let's put that down. Go ahead and put this on the table. Okay, and now just need to find a knife. All right, let's crouch down and get it close. <laughs> I'm working on my novel. I'm sorting my training. 
Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one. A safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. And five down, it's convenient for Tartan Lucia. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange word this time. What is that, Lithuanian? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlie. So close. Wow. Alright, so we are now in a brand new day. And stuff is already floating. You ain't give us two seconds to get off the table before he started acting up. Alright, so now we gotta cook breakfast again. Of course, I'm kind of used to everything flying out by now. Okay, give me this pan. Give me the pan. Give me, give me the. All right, now we just need a plate. Give me this piece of bacon. And let's go ahead and grab one more egg. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. No. Okay, where did that piece of bacon go? Oh no, there it is. Or is that from the plate? <laughs> oh. Put it on the plate. Put it on the plate. <laughs> Okay. I don't think you have to be as precise with this game because I know the tomfoolery that is putting you through. Can I just. I'm just gonna sit it there. Open. Let's sprinkle some pepper in the air. No, I don't want more pepper. I need the salt. Okay, now let's get a fork. Be sure to be safe out there, Francis. There's been strange news lately. I'll be fine, Mom. Jimmy's dad is picking me up from school, and Jimmy's mom is gonna make me brownie after. Honey? Have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's alright, I'll pick up pizza tonight. Wow. <laughs> oh, perfect, my bullets are here. Now, I might not have a gun, and most sources say you need a gun to use bullets, but most sources aren't losing their mind trying to be a good wife and mother while demons are in their house. So I'll be taking some liberties. All right, bullets are here. Right click while holding them to to soup up your vacuum, then stow them away for a rainy day. Okay, what? Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know when I'll need it, but better safe than sorry. All right, so are we putting it in here? Oh, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit them in there. I don't know what I'm stuck on. Okay. Now we need to vacuum up the grime again. I mean, didn't jump to get that. Alright, there's another one over here. And 
another one over here. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by The Stars Are Right, your number one guide to the stars being right. Also providing services like seeing if the stars are right and making sure that no one's the center of the world. Broadcast? What do you mean they're not a sponsor? The stars are right. The stars are right. It's right here. The stars are right. The stars are right. The stars are right. So weird. No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that the Oldens are returning and they're charting their vote to the second city of Rokia and that Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. 50% off. No, we're on air now. Hello, everyone. Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. Add a bit of extra kick to your morning smoothie with some tasty sea life. Delicious. Actually, that doesn't sound delicious at all. Well, anyhow, it's a Saturday. Time to kick back and relax after a long, hard week of work providing for your families. And hey, maybe your wives can take a break, too. All right, you guys, so we are back to breakfast. We didn't have to cook dinner last night because he, um, I guess, got that pizza. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And when we return, we will be with part four of the Call of Karen to see what new shenanigans we get into. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.